Nico Pellet, escritor y activista de derechos humanos israelí, impulsado por una tragedia familiar personal relacionada con Palestina, escribe El hijo del general, el viaje de un israelí en Palestina. Pellet aboga por el derecho al retorno y la creación de un Estado democrático con los mismos derechos para todos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you to the uh, Embassy of Palestine in Spain, in Madrid, for asking me to participate, allowing me to participate, I should say, in the commemoration of the Nakba. I think that uh, we all know that this is 72 years is really the official count but that the Nakba began before that, the Zionist forces began destroying and colonizing Palestine before 1948, and sadly the process of the Nakba is still going and going very strong. I think it's very interesting that when we ask Palestinian children, even ones who were not born in Palestine and have never seen Palestine, where are you from? The answers that we get are Yaffa, Haifa, Akka, Safad, Birsaba, and so on, Al Quds. When we ask Israeli children, where is your family from? They will say Poland or Ukraine, Russia, France, uh, perhaps Argentina, Morocco, Iraq, Yemen, and so on. This speaks to the fact that Palestine belongs to the Palestinians and Palestinians belong to Palestine. People who are the Israelis, like myself, we are from the outside. We are the result of settler colonialism, of a racist regime that has been imposed, a racist system that has been imposed on Palestine, and a system that we must strive to bring to an end so that all Palestinians and Israelis can finally live in peace and equality. I think it's important to commemorate on this day the Sumud, the Palestinian steadfastness, the Palestinian resistance. Palestinians are not victims uh, who need our sympathy. Palestinians are fighters. I think of all the nations in the world, including Israelis, Palestinians are probably the least occupied people in, uh, that we will ever see. I think it's also too important to recall the, the many, many centuries of Palestinian existence in Palestine. Um, I hope that the readers have had a chance to see the, the magnificent uh, book by the historian Nur Masalha, Palestinian historian, who published a book by the name of Palestine, a 4,000 year history, showing very clearly that the history of Palestine, that the name Palestine and the country, the land of Palestine, have been recognized as such going back 4,000 years. When we look at the magnificent cities and towns, the culture, the monuments, the, the, the heritage that has been developed in Palestine in different periods, when we look at Dahir Omar and the wonderful cities he built in Akka, in Tabariya, in Haifa, um, of course, when we look at the magnificent Jewel of the Crown, the Jerusalem Al-Quds and the Al-Aqsa compound, which is really iconic and has become a symbol of all of Palestine, Um, for over a thousand years. I think we need to remember that as we look forward and strive to bring back a free Palestine, to bring back a Palestine that can thrive, uh, bring back a Palestine where refugees can return to their homes and their children can learn about their beautiful culture, about their ancient history, can walk among the towns and the cities uh, that are part of Palestine and once again feel that this is theirs and live as, as, as citizens uh, should be in their country and not as refugees. Um, I believe that if we do that, if we take a look and remember to appreciate the glorious past of Palestine and the glorious uh, character and spirit of the Palestinian people, then I think we will be much better equipped and much better able to foresee what a free Palestine looks like And also we will be energized and we will have the power and the, and, and the ability to fight and bring back Palestine to its people and bring its people back to Palestine. I think that a free Palestine with equal rights from the River Jordan to the Mediterranean, from the Gulf of Aqaba to the border of Lebanon, 
a free Palestine without racist regimes, without discrimination, where water flows freely in everybody's uh, homes, where people can travel freely and enjoy the beauty of the country, where anybody can go to the beach and anybody can go pray in Jerusalem. That Palestine can be a reality. If we all work together, if we all fight together, if we all think and envision together and cooperate, regardless of our differences, we can see, a, we will see a free Palestine and much sooner than most people think. So I wanna thank you again for this opportunity to speak to you. And um, I wanna congratulate Palestinians for their sumud, for their resistance, for their wonderful spirit, for the inspiring work that they've done for so many centuries in Palestine and for what is yet to come. Thank you so much.